Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Margoira, and in today's video, we will do a full review of this Dior Holiday Collection 2022. I have the two eyeshadows, two blushes, and the lipstick clutch that we are all crazy about. And I picked up some of Miss Dior products as well. We will do swatches, makeup look, and review. And on top of that, we will do wearable looks, daylight swatches, studio swatches, and tons of comparisons. I reviewed this last year and I have them all just like what I have right now. I hope this video will help you and guide you if you need this new collection from Dior. If you want to hear my thoughts about this new collection, keep on watching. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Margarita. In this channel, I talk everything about beauty and makeup. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It will really help my channel. And if you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And everything that I will discuss here will be listed down below for your convenience to shop. This lipstick clutch, I have stated buying this because honey this is 240 dollars but i bought one last year and this is it okay if you want a dedicated video for this two to compare they're all intact and complete and everything like that please comment down below i would be very happy to do that but today we will just focus on the new release for year 2022 and while I'm at Dior website, I told you in my intro, I want to buy everything I see. I bought these two Dior Backstage, this green palette and this cranberry palette. You guys, this is my first time buying this. I have never tried this formula, so I'm so thrilled that I pick it up. But unfortunately, if I will cover all of this today, we will be here until tomorrow. So <laughs> I will just focus on the holiday 2022. And I picked up some of these Miss Dior products. Dior knows how to hypnotize you and let you buy all the things you see in their website because aesthetically they're doing it 10 out of 10. Anyway, I bought these two lip products. One is lip glow and one is lipstick, both in shades 1947 Miss Dior. On top of that, I don't want to leave the website, okay? I bought this a crane face palette for this year because I bought the one from last year. <laughs> Here it is. I will open it up for you to see. This year is velvet packaging which I'm not really sure if I like it because it is already full of hair right now <laughs> and I'm not even using it yet. I think I like the packaging from last year. This is a foam letter but still gorgeous though. This is how the new palette looks like. You guys already swatched this. Look how gorgeous it is. This is studio lighting. I did some video with natural lighting. I will show it to you guys. And just for comparison, this is from last year. You all know it has two brushes, right? So I can compare this side by side. Okay, you can tell from the queens alone, it's different. This year has the purple shade and from last year it's all neutral. And this year's blushes are darker, but the lipsticks I think is the same. <laughs> Highlighters different too. If you like a dedicated video about this two Ekren face palette, let me know. I would happy to do it. Aren't they gorgeous? It's the same thing that I said last year. <laughs> if you missed watching it last year, I will 
put it in the description box below for you to watch it so you can compare these videos. Before I start this makeup look, I want to hydrate my lips with this Dior Addict Lip Glow in shade 1947. This is part of Miss Dior collection. So it looks like, oh, it's actually nice. A nice tint to it and I want to put this on before I start this makeup look. So when I go to the part where I will put my lipstick, my lips is all hydrated. I love this. I love the shade. So we will start this makeup look by using this limited edition eyeshadow prints in shade Galactic. This is how it looks like. It is described as pearl white, a rosewood, a metallic silver, a purple with flashes of gold, and a velvety black tinge with silver. And here's the swatches. The embossing and the design of this eyeshadow is so beautiful, you guys. It's so pretty. I'm excited to use it. I want to do a very wearable soft look, so I will start with this rosewood color. I will put it on my entire lid. I want to see how it looks like. Just one in the eyeshadow. This is how it looks like. It's beautiful. This shade is stunning, you guys. It's so pretty. Just putting it on your entire lid, it gives you a very soft look. And it doesn't have that glitter that accentuates your aging eyelids. It has enough shimmer to make it look glam, but at the same time, it's wearable. So I will just do the same with the other eye. Now to deepen up the look, I will use this aubergine color on the outer part of my eye. I always stop my eyeshadow to prevent fallout. I will just blend it. These two colors together is beautiful. They blended easily and it doesn't look muddy or whatsoever. So I will just do the same with the other eye. I'm liking this eye look already. If I don't have to show you every color, I will stop from here and I'm done. <laughs> but I want to use all the colors just for review purposes. So now I will use this very interesting shade here. This gray that has a bluish purple shift, which is so pretty. I'll just put it in the center of my lid. This is a beautiful color one and done. And these shadows, you guys, they're so soft and creamy and they just blended so beautifully. By the way, this is $65, six months shelf life and made in France. I will use this white shade on my inner corner and my brow bone. Oh wow, <laughs> it really brightens the look. I'm putting lighter shade on my brow bone to give me a lifted look. Now I will do my lower lash line. I will use this Dior number 24. I will use this black shade and stamp it on my lower lash line. I only use this black. For my lower lash line because I want to create this everyday wearable look. Using a pencil brush, I will use this aubergine again just to mix with that lower lash line. It's a beautiful fall color. So this is the final look. I will just put liquid eyeliner, lashes, and mascara and I'll be back. And now this is the complete look with liner and lashes. This is a beautiful color story. This is a beautiful eyeshadow palette from Dior. I love this one. And now let's go to the blush. As you've seen in the intro, we have two limited edition blushes in Galactic Red and Cosmic Coral. And from this eyeshadow, since it has the aubergine purple, I will use this Galactic Red because it is described as burgundy with shimmering gold. This is how it looks like. 
this beautiful embossing is so pretty you guys and to think this has been swatched so many times and this embossing is still there I'm impressed and this is the swatches and natural lighting and the swatches I swatch it beside the coral shade for you to see the difference it's really really different this shade is really very nice it's a deeper skin tone but for some reason I gravitate towards this shade because this shade compliments me I will use my favorite cheek blush Sonji I need to be light-handed on this one and I will place my blush here since I have a round face It's very pigmented. This is a very beautiful blush to be paired with this eyeshadow. It has enough sheen that I don't really need a highlighter. This blush is $47, 12 month shelf life, and made in France. Now let's go to the lips. I'm so excited because I have this Rouge Dior Minadir limited edition clutch and lipstick holder. But before I try on all of those lipsticks, I want to use this Miss Dior lipstick 1947 because it has a rosewood tone. This is how it looks like. It's so beautiful, you guys. <laughs> it has a CD logo. This lipstick has a design. In your website, it is described as a deep rosewood in velvet form. It is $44 limited edition. This is how it looks like. And now I will put in my lips because I think this is the one that will really complement the blush and this makeup look. And this is Dior 1947, Miss Dior. This velvet formula, by the way, is so comfortable. Now let's try the other four lipsticks. For the holiday season, Dior has created an accessory that reflects the refinement and elegance of the house of Dior. The Rich Dior Minader Clutch. This timeless piece, a testament to savoir faire of Dior Ateliers, is dressed in black a color dear to Christian Dior that he considered an eternal symbol of elegance and femininity. Practical to take out with its chain strap, the Rich Dior Minotaur Clutch features a clutch case and a removable lipstick holder. Together, they can be worn over the shoulder. Used on its own, the clutch case adorned with CD initials can be carried as a clutch you can also detach the lipstick holder and wear it around your neck and create a modern look, a sophisticated look. The case and the lipstick holder are home to a rich Dior lipstick with an engraved bullet and three refills in four shades with couture finishes that combine long wear, sensory appeal, and floral lip care. Let's start with the first shade. This one is the one with the case. And the three refills, you can just interchange it with this. This is Rouge Dior 965. It is described as Rouge Fortune Velvet Finish, an opulent red. The case is just the regular Dior. You know, last year, their case has a design. Here's the swatches. Okay, on their website, the theme of this holiday 2020 collection is the constellation stars in ending up with red lips. And now I will put it on my lips. Usually when I wear red lipstick, I use a lip liner. But this time, I won't use any because I really want to see the true color of this. Okay, you guys, for those who want a red lips for the holidays, this is it. Rouge 965. It's in velvet form, very comfortable, hydrating, and this is Cream's Holiday. Wow.
Okay, now we will do the swatches inside this Rich Dior Mina Dior limited edition. It has three full size lipstick here that is refillable. This is the refill that is a mirror, and this is the big lipstick. Okay, this is the shade number two. This is 674. This is how the refill looks like. This is how the bullet looks like. It is described as 674 Midnight Rose Velvet Finish and Enchanting Rosewood. Oh, it's another rosewood. Okay, this is the swatches. Back up my hand. This is how it looks like. 674 Midnight Rose. Okay, now we got the third shade in the lipstick clutch. Everything looks the same. <laughs> it is described as 913 Mystic Plum Matte Finish, a Mysterious Brown. This is the swatch of 913 Mystic Plum. Okay guys, don't get me wrong. This is the shade that I don't like. That's why I think like 10 times before buying this clutch because I won't use the shade. But for review purposes, I will put on my lips. You'll never know. Maybe I will like it. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. 913 Mystic Plum. Okay, before we go to the next shade, I just want to let you know that I don't like this at all. Okay, this is very patchy, very difficult to work with. This is a very sheer application of this and when I try to do an opaque application of it, it looks like my nails. And the idea of me buying this is to get different shades of red, not red with black, okay? It's black. I feel like I will attend a Halloween party I just make it work like this and it took me forever. I even used this brush, this Sigma cut crease brush. It's not even a lip brush because I need something that is wide enough to spread the color. Just saying, I'm so not so happy because this Dior set is $240. I know you're paying for the clutch but i wish i have four shades that i can use and i'm shade number three and this one is a big no for me okay we are in a fourth shade of this stick clutch it looks the same packaging the same it's called 471 enchanted pink satin finish a luminous coral pink 471 Enchanted Pink. For comparison, this is from last year. Last year is gold. This year is black. Comment down below if you want a dedicated video for this, comparing these two. Are you ready for look number two? Let's go to the other blush. It's called 556. Cosmic Coral. It is described as a luminous and festive coral. Okay, this is the swatches for natural lighting. And I will swatch it for you guys for studio lighting. But I think the best representation really is the natural lighting. Now, I'm impressed with embossing of this collection, especially the eyeshadows. Because just the swatches alone, I think I swatched it like 10 times heavy swatches. And the embossing is still there. <laughs> Okay, this is how it looks like as you can see from the swatches from my hand and this time i will use this dior brush number 16 this is one of the best blush brush even though this is not a natural hair this picks up a lot of product it's just so nice again i will place my blush here since i have a round face it will help my face uh, be contoured okay <laughs> I 
I'll put a little bit on the apple of bachi just for me to look flush. Okay, this is how it looks like. I like it. You know, when Dior said luminous coral, they're not kidding because <laughs> this is really like, again, just like the first one, it has like a built-in highlighter that gives you like a luminescent glow from within. Just like one of my favorite blushes, Hourglass Blush. It is really nice. At the same time, it's not a unique color. <laughs> if you are like me, keep on buying Dior. I think I have four of these for comparison later, <laughs> but not all the are, but I think all of the brands are using this shade because this is like the most flattering shade on all skin tone. It's like a crowd pleaser and I will put the other, other cheek. Okay guys, let's move on to the eyes. I have this other palette is called Cosmic Eyes. It is described as a satiny heart, shades of metallic bronze, a shimmering gold, a velvety black, tinged with gold. So this is the swatches in natural lighting. Okay, this is how it looks like in studio lighting. This is the one that is really holidayish. That's why I want to do this eye look last. So. It will be my makeup when I do the intro <laughs> because I think the model in uh, your website uses these eyeshadow queens in their model, which is so, so pretty. The one that really excites me here is this antique gold. I love this. So let's start. Since I'm excited with this antique gold, I'm gonna use it all over my lid, okay? <laughs> and I'm using this Sonya G Worker one. This is good for packing color in your eyelid. Oh wow. Uh, this shade I'm sold, okay? I'm buying this. <laughs> this is one of those that if I'm in a rush, hurry, I will just put this in my lid. You can even use your finger when you, uh, when you do something like this satiny. Put liner and I'm done. But for review purposes, we will use all the colors. This is really so pretty and the good thing about it, it has an oomph like a glow but it's not glitters it's shimmer it's very dior very sophisticated but at the same time it's glam okay i will just do the same in the other eye i'm done with the first shade that i use and i'm so happy let's try to deepen up this look i will use this gray on the outer corner so what i will do is just like what i did in the first eyeshadow i will just do an ombre effect and if you notice my application, I'm just patting it like that, so I won't have a fallout. That looks nice. I will do the same with the other eye. Okay, the third shade that I will use is this gorgeous gold. I'm just using a shader brush because I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye. Wow, I love this quad. This quad really screams holiday. I'll do the same with my other eye. Okay, for the inner corner, I will just use the lightest shade in the palette, the one in the middle. Oh, it's pretty. This is pretty. And I will put that too on the brow bone area to give me a lifted look. I will use this black. It really looks... <laughs> this black is so um, entertaining to <laughs> look at in the monitor because it has a silver specs that is so pretty. But when you put it in the eye, it's just matte black, okay? Again, I will use this Dior number 24 and I will use it in my lower lash line. If it picks up a lot, I will use it in the other eye. I'm only using the liner, the black, as a liner because my goal is to create a wearable look, but this black, if you will just add it in the outer corner and cross it here, it will be a full-blown smoky eye. That's why I love this palette because you can wear just the three of these and you will have a very wearable look. 
It's like what I'm doing right now. It's a little bit smoky, but still very nice. Okay, I want that antique gold on my lower lash line. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is the complete makeup look for this Cosmic Eyes. I will just put liner and mascara because I already have lashes and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, this is the final look for the lipstick. I decided to go to the red lipstick, shade 965 Rouge Fortune Velvet Finish, an opulent red, the first one that I swatched earlier, the one with the case. But this time I will use a liner because we all know that red lipsticks blade really really need a lip liner <laughs> and at the same time you know i want to define my lips a little bit i will use this rouge dior lip liner pencil 999 i will that's how it looks like Dior Deep Liner is one of my favorites. It's very nice. Not too waxy. Has a great staying power. I like this lip liner because it's like Chanel. It has the tip, the brush that you can blend afterwards. So I will put the lipstick. I will swatch the lipstick beside the lip liner. I don't have the same shade. That's why when I swatch this first, I don't use a lip liner so you will see the real color of it. It's nice. <laughs> okay, if you're a fan of this Dior 999 lip liner and this Rouge Dior 964 in velvet formula is a nice combination. Okay guys, now we will do tons of comparisons. <laughs> I hope this will guide you and help you to decide whether you need this palette or not. We will start with these eyeshadows. Okay guys, we are now in comparisons. The first one that I will compare it with is the Holiday Eyeshadow Palette from last year, 2021. It's called 739 House of Dreams. Here are the swatches of Galactic versus 739 House of Dreams. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison, Dior Black Bow. Here's the comparison swatches versus Dior Black Bow. This is the comparison for Cosmic Eyeshadow. The first one that I will compare it with is from the Holiday 2021 of Dior 469 Atelier Dory. Here are the swatches of Cosmic versus 469 Atelier Dory. The next comparison of this Cosmic Eyeshadow is from Holiday 2020, 549 Golden Snow. Here's the swatches of Cosmic Eyeshadow versus 549 Golden Snow. Here's the last comparison for Cosmic Eyeshadow. I compared it versus Chanel Intense. Here's the comparison swatches of Cosmic Eyeshadow versus Chanel Intense. Now we will do blush comparisons and I will start with Galactic Blush versus Gucci Warm Berry. Swatches comparison of Galactic Blush versus Warm Berry Gucci. The one on top is the Dior Galactic Blush and the one in the bottom is the Gucci Warm Berry. Next comparison, I compare this Dior Galactic Blush versus Chanel Rouge Profond. This comparison, wow, this is really very close. Comparisons of this Dior Coral Blush. The first one that I will compare it with is with this Gucci Bright Coral. Here's the comparison swatches of the Dior Gucci Bright Coral. The one on top is the new Dior Blush. The one in the bottom is the Gucci Bright Coral. Next comparison versus Dior Atrice. Swatches comparison of this new Dior Cosmic Blush versus Dior Atrice. Next comparison of this Dior Cosmic Blush versus this Dior Limited Edition Birds of Feather Collection number 462. Swatches comparison of Cosmic Coral Blush versus Dior Limited Edition Birds of Feather Collection number 462. 
Next comparison of this Rouge Dior Cosmic Coral Blush versus this Chanel Blush Rosé. Swatch so comparison of this Dior Blush versus this Chanel Blush Rosé. For my final thoughts, from this collection, in my opinion, from using this two limited edition eyeshadows and two blushes in this set of lipsticks the one that i really think that is worth is purging this christmas are the two eyeshadows even though you might have the same color story from other palettes they are still very good this holiday collection from dior this year their shadows is so creamy so blendable they're stunning okay it's gorgeous this is the reason why i keep on buying dior queens even though it's really expensive it's like comfort okay it's very friendly for my aging eyelids it gives you the the glam that you like without accentuating all your aging skin in her eyes it has a glam but sophisticated that's what this is all about that's what i highly recommend those eyeshadows those blushes you can easily do it and this lipstick clutch there are four shades inside i love the three shades i don't like the brown shade anyway those are my thoughts i hope you find this video helpful if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to leave your comment down below again thank you for watching we love you see you on my next video bye